So it's a little, it looks a little small, but you can see inside. It's, I'd say it's big enough for most cats. Um, my sister-in-law's cat is a mix. I think it's like a ragdollish mix. And it does seem a little tight for him in that the fur makes it look like he doesn't have much space. But in reality, it is, I would say it's still large enough for a cat. Um, the litter box, the litter robot 4 is bigger than this in terms of, um, I think, height. But for the most part, our cats have never gotten stuck in there. And even if it was spinning while they are in there, it's actually going to stop. So I can, I can show you how it works here. So like this. Oh, so I can't, it's not spinning because it says a cat has approached. There's like a thing here. Now it's moving. See, he's gonna go to it. I've had one instance where she's jumped in when it's moving and she jumps back out immediately. So it stops because it sees that a cat is here. And the sensor is right here where her face is actually, yeah, right here. So it's probably not gonna move for a little bit, but what it'll do is it's gonna spin the litter backwards. And you can see there's like a little space here. The poop is gonna go back, and then when it comes back this way, the poop is gonna just fall into that tube. So I'll just show you the whole thing since it's moving now. So it stops right there. So even if a cat was at the very end of this cycle, it would stop and have a big enough opening for the cat to escape. You see that little pellet of poop there? You're just gonna go straight into the, the litter bin, which is this section here. It's like two thirds of this whole section. Yeah. And it sifts the poop and pee um, balls, I guess, clumps. Yep, that's it.